All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Magic Duels starter box changes that will be happening with the release of the Shadows over Innistrad and Oath of the Gatewatch uh, patches that will be coming to Magic Duels. So essentially, there are going to be a number of changes, and I'd like to go over them real quick if you don't know about them, and you know, just kind of give you my thoughts on them. Now, the very first change that is actually not shown in this article, but is it is shown in this video. Uh, the very first uh, big change is that now, whenever one of your opponents uh, quits the match. Uh, you you will get the rewards immediately and then you can choose to either continue playing against the AI or just end the match altogether uh, and that's a nice uh, you know that's a nice change a lot of people have been asking about that they've been wanting to you know not continue playing even after the opponent quits I actually don't mind that I like playing the matches out um, especially because I'm doing videos of the matches and I would have to he ending it you know on a, on a concession so um, but you know we'll, we'll see how that goes I, I think that's a very good change it's one that's been uh, requested by fans a lot so that is definitely coming so now let's look at some changes to the starter box or basically cards that are going to be leaving magic duels and be replaced with something else so the very first one is the top tier constructed balance changes so uh, they you they've been listening the monvoli acid moss that is now going away and it is going to be uh replaced by explosive vegetation um i'm I'm okay with this one. Uh, I, I know a lot of people have been really complaining about the acid moss. I have not. I've played with it. I've played against it. I'm, I've been okay with it either way. But a lot of people have complained about it. And it is a very swingy card. It, it, it destroys a land and gets one for yourself. Um, and, you know, it pretty much goes in just about any ramp deck. And it really, really... Uh, hurts uh decks with multicolored lands uh, um so you know so that's part of why the acid moss has gone away uh they replaced it with explosive vegetation which is a great card i really like this card search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield tab then shuffle your library so it costs one green and three colorless so it's the same converted mana cost except uh acid moss requires two green so explosive vegetation is actually a little bit easier to cast and it is really nice it's real ramp because this gives you two basic lands into the play tapped and i actually actually would probably like this a little bit better than the acid moss now the acid moss is definitely much more powerful um, but it is it is kind of nice to see that go away and see it get replaced with some real uh, uh, ramp like like this. So uh, you won't be seeing the ramp decks go away. You just see a little bit of their teeth taken away uh, with this acid moss. So that's the first big change. Uh, let's move on. Uh, this one I don't think anybody's really gonna care about. Uh, they're getting rid of the Dreg Reaver, which I had to look this card. I, I didn't even remember what this card was. So it's a four-three zombie beast. Uh, I see no reason why you should ever play this. And they've uh, replaced it with the Minotaur Abomination, a four-six. Uh, two black and four colorless again. I see no reason why you should play this so I would pretty much not play either one So, you know, we'll go past that uh, Divine favor uh, is going away uh, It was a 1-3 enchantment that gained you three life and it's being gotten rid of in favor of siege craft which uh, gives plus two plus four to the enchanted creature, but it costs four mana Um Apparently, Divine Favor wasn't seeing much use, and that's why they decided to change it out. But I really don't think Siegecraft is going to see much action either. I mean, two f plus two plus four is really nice, uh, but again, it is just an enchantment, and I'm not I'm not too crazy about it. So I am, you know, whatever. That's that's a whatever. Now this is interesting. Uh, they're getting rid of Angelic Edict. Uh, exile target creature or enchantment and they're replacing that with 
uh, suppression bonds, which suppression bonds was already in there. Um, I I want to say suppression bonds is currently a, a an uncommon, and they're gonna make it a common in order for it to fit in that slot. So I think you can have four suppression bonds uh, in your deck. You can uh, if you guys want to check on that and correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not entirely sure of that, but basically, angelic edict is going away, and your replacement for that is just suppression bonds. Now, I really like Angelic Edict, and it's slightly over-costed for what you're getting, but it is still pretty powerful. Exile, target creature, or enchantment, one of the few ways to get rid of Ulamog. Uh, suppression Bonds can hold off Ulamog, but, you know, if they can get rid of the Suppression Bonds, then you haven't gotten rid of the uh, problem. Now, the one nice thing about Suppression Bonds is one of the few ways you have of dealing with planeswalkers so that's you know that's pretty good uh again uh i believe that the angelic edict was taken out uh because there's gonna be some comparable cards coming in the new sets that will fill this slot so this is probably not gonna be as big of a deal as as a lot of people i i saw a lot of people in the forums uh getting really upset over angelic edict going away but I, I I think there's going to be some things coming in to, to replace that. So we'll see how that works out. But hey, suppression bonds is still pretty good. And being able to, being able to use more of those is, is kind of nice. All right. Uh, here's one that no one's going to care about. Axbane Stag. Ugh, I cannot speak. Axbane Stag is going away, which was a 6-7 for 7 mana. And now you get a 6 mana... Uh, six four trample Yavamaya worm, meh, yeah. I mean the trample is nice, but uh, yeah, you could get. Uh, there's better. There's better creatures to be using than this. So, um, I, I I guess for newer players they would you they would see more play of the worm over the axe being stag, but it, it's it's not great either way. Now oh, moving on. Okay. Uh, let's see uh the the dual lands okay so we they're getting rid of the gate creeper vine uh which upset a bunch of people they're like whoa what's going on with that uh why are you getting rid of the gate creeper vine and we'll answer that in a second but gate creeper vine is going away and to replace it in the same mana cost slot is the silver ranger when silver ranger enters the battlefield you may search your library for a basic land card reveal it Put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. So it seems it serves the same purpose as the Gate Creeper Vine, but it is a one-one creature that you can attack with, uh, which is a, a upgrade over the O2 Defender. Um, though this guy was, you know, can be pretty good at stopping one ones, but I, I think I like the Sylvan Ranger a little bit better. Now, one of the things that the Gate Creeper Vine did better than the silver rager is that the gate creeper vine can go get a gate card one of the the guild gates well you don't have to worry about that because the guild gates are all going away and they're getting replaced by all of these new uh they they work the same as the as the guild gates they enter the battlefield tap and then they give you one of two colors of mana so there's the tranquil expanse the timber gorge the Meandering River, Submerged Boneyard, and the Cinder Barrens. Um, we also have the Forsaken Sanctuary, Foul Orchard, Highland Lake, Stone Quarry, and Woodland S Stream. So that was uh, so that's what this is here. So the Guild Gates are going away, and the uh, Oath uh, of the Gate Watch and uh, Shadows Over Innistrad Dual Lands are what are coming in and let's see uh another okay here, here's another one that elf players are gonna not like uh jagged scar archers are going away which uh that's a pretty powerful card it could get really strong and it was able to give green and elves uh, an answer to flying creatures um and they're claiming that the archers contributes to frustrating lockouts where flying creatures are, are irrelevant and ground creatures quickly become too small to matter uh, I don't know about that, but they are replacing it with a much inferior Life Spring Druid, uh, which does not serve the same purpose, but it is still a nice creature. It's a 2 1 for 3 mana, and you can tap it to add ma one mana of any color to your mana pool. Um, that is a nice ability, though. I usually prefer that ability on a 2 cost or even a 1 cost creature. 
uh, which I don't think they're ever going to do again. So this is probably as good as it gets. But it's one man of any color to your mana pool, so it can help with some mana fixing there. We'll see how this pans out. I think this is really going to hurt the elf decks um, uh, by a lot. And, and elf decks, I didn't even see them as that power. I mean, they could be powerful, but most elf decks I dealt with, I, I, I didn't find too powerful. So, uh, you know, that, this is what it is. Uh, this one here, this next one here hurts a lot to me. My very favorite card, Perilous Mirror, is going away. Uh, is the flag bearer of over efficient el elimination of small creatures. Magic is more fun when the answer to a particular strategy isn't just more of that strategy. While clearly weaker than the mirror, Bronze Sable is a capable low cost creature that can fill out a curve without suppressing the competition. So they've got rid of Perilous Mirror because. Pretty much Perilous Mirror fits in just about any deck and they want to promote deck diversity. Uh, and, you know, again, you could throw this into just about any deck and they want to get away from that. And so they've added in the Bronze Sable, which costs the same. It, it is a 2-1 so you get more attack power out of it, but that's it. He does nothing else <laughs> other than just being an artifact creature. So I don't know if there's going to see much play. Uh, you know, so this is one that I'm sad to see is the Perilous Mirror, but it is what it is. He's going away. Hopefully we'll get some nicer artifacts. Uh, Goblin players and Red Deck wins. You guys are getting hit too. Uh, Foundry Street Denison is going away. One of the staples of the, you know, mono red, uh, aggro decks. And it is being replaced with a little bit inferior Goblin Br Balloon Brigade. Uh, it also costs one red mana, and it's just a one-one. However, you can play a red mana to give give it flying until end of turn, so it does have evasion. Uh, but you're still only getting in for one point of damage. Uh, whereas the Foundry Street Denizen, you could get, you know, you could get more than that. So it, it is definitely a downgrade, but uh, we haven't seen what some of the new one cost red cards are out of the new set. So maybe there'll be something else to replace it. Uh, let's see, uh, Elite Vanguard, now this is a good one here, so Elite Vanguard is going away, it's a 2-1 for one mana human soldier, it's going away, it's being replaced by <laughs> Expedition Envoy, a one cost, two mana human scout ally, and that is the most important part there, that it is an ally, uh, it is gonna go well with the ally decks, you'll be able to, you know, uh, use it into you know, uh, the different, you know, uh, it'll help activate the different ally abilities. And I think this is a good change. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be a good one. Um, and then uh, there's going to be more changes, uh, you know, as, as they go along. Uh, right now, these are the initial changes that they're doing for the metagame. And, you know, we may see more changes coming up, but I don't know. Uh, they haven't said anything yet. Uh, a lot of these changes may come after the, the sets are released. Uh, and again, the sets will be releasing sometime in April. So I guess based on what the meta uh, game becomes at that point, they may make some more changes. But this is what's been announced so far. So, uh, guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts on these changes. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and uh, be sure to subscribe to see more videos. So, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.